What's going on guys? It's uh, been a long time. How you guys doing out there? It's your boy B. Um, I know it's been a minute since I've done a video and I know it seems like I just do a video whenever I have something extremely important to talk about. I'm going to try to get better with that. But, um, once again, I have to do a video that is extremely saddening. Um, it's it's really just, it's disturbing, it's sad, it's, you know, there's no other words I can describe about this situation. Um, this is going to be my second video on suicide, where another person has taken his life, and as you may know in my last video, I talked about Freddie. Um, a YouTube blogger who was also working under Tyga and he was the boyfriend of Honey Cocaine or at least I believe so the next person that I had to bring to you that committed suicide is Lee Thompson Young or as you guys may know the famous Jet Jackson this right here is particularly just kinda it's hard for me because Lee Thompson Young is pretty much the first really young black actor that I really like noticed who was acting, you know. Um he had a, he had the show on Disney, the famous Jet Jackson, and I don't know who in my age range wasn't watching it back then. I I was what? and I, I that was my show you know I wanted to be Jet Jackson you know as when I was a 12 year old boy you know get to play a spy and you know be, have my own show and that's what it really got to me because you know when you really notice in Hollywood or you know acting when you think about an actor the first person that will come to your mind would probably be white. Now I know we have the mega star like Holly Berry and Denzel Washington, but I mean we don't have too many of those when you compare them to Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis. You know you can just name and keep on going. So he was like the really the first young black actor that I noticed that you know was doing something like you know he had a show like. I didn't really know too many young black actors who had their own show. So, it's just, you know, and that's, I mean, and that right there to a 12 year old boy, that's inspiring, you know. So, he kind of holds, uh, you know, status as an actor for me, or at least he did. Um,. August 19th, which was yesterday, uh, he took his own life, or that's what they say happened. Now, they say it was a gun, a gunshot wound that was self-inflicted, but there was no, no notes, no tweets, nothing. You know, even Freddie, he tweeted before he, you know, took his own life. So, you know they don't expect foul play but you know who knows and he um and as of right now he was an actor on the show uh Roselli and I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right Roselli and Isles um I never watched the show I'm gonna be completely honest um really didn't know that you know, he had a, a predominant character on the show. So, it is what it is. It's, the show, I believe, is on Netflix. So, I might check it out, you know. I'm going to check it out. But, it, to get to the point of this video, once again, it, it's sad that to see what the industry can do to people. To take them, to have them take their own lives. Is, is, and I'm not just saying the industry, I'm talking about anybody 
regardless of whether you're in the industry, whether you're doing whatever, I don't care. The fact that you take your own life is just so surreal to me. It's just like, I just can't believe that, you know, it happened. And once again, I urge anybody out there, if you are going through anything where you even have the slightest doubt that you want to take your life, if you're in the sound of my voice, please, please, talk to somebody, go talk to friends, talk to their helplines, you know, leave me, inbox me, inbox me, uh, inbox me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, I promise you, I will not ignore you, I, I, I will not, you know, I will not turn you away, and I might not have the answers, but I can promise that I will try my best to be there. If you need somebody to talk to, I'm only a message away. Other people are only a message away. I know people have friends out there who care, family who care. And you know, I know some people who just can't understand and it may be a little judgmental. You, you're just being dramatic. No. No. So, this is, this is just really sad to me personally because I held that dude up in such high regard for being one of the first young black actors around my age, you know, to do something like that, have his own show. I think he he what he's twenty he he was twenty nine now. I'm twenty seven. So I was twelve. He was fourteen. You know that that. And I know now nowadays you know. You see young black actors having their shows, you know, I mean, but hey, he was one of the first ones to me, and I'm not going to sit here and drag out this video, I do have to go to work tonight, but I wanted to come and do this video because I, I, I felt the need to say that, you know, it's just sad. Alright y'all, you know.